Hey yo, what's up, Skuram, and welcome back to another Dantles build video. So for today, I'm gonna show you this new Umbral Warpike build, and this build was caused by Seijuku. So basically, this is the different version of the Umbral Protector build for the Warpike. So yeah, if you want to check out that video, you can check that out after this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the build. For the Umbral, we got the Tempest Umbral. The weapon is, of course, the Apocalypse Needle with plus 3 fire and another plus 3 fire special is gonna be the savage roll spring mod is the balanced spearhead and the bond is gonna be the dryer of night which has plus 3 cunning next up uh, the lantern is the pangor shrine with plus 3 use helmet is the dark watch with plus 3 overpower torso is the dark mirror with plus 3 rage gauntlets are the togodor's brawn with plus 3 berserker and lastly legs are gonna be the scribing boots with plus 3 use and as for tonics we don't need to go into that because we're not using any catalyst so yeah this build is basically the other build but without the catalyst and I also I tweaked some uh, stuff on this build too. So yeah, now for the cosmetic side of the build. For the weapon we got the ENMS1 long shot. Uh, Lantern is the SMSL1 blue truth survival light. Helmet is gonna be the gleaming vial. Torso is the living blade carapace. Gauntlets are the patience and lastly, last but not least, leggings are gonna be and the sandals. So yeah, that was the full build and these are cells right here. But before we go to hitting cells and what and what the cells do, make sure to sub to the channel and like the video. We are currently on the road to hitting 2.5k subs on the end of the, the year, so yeah, let's try to hit that. Also, large portion of viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if you do, I'd really appreciate that too. So yeah, now for cells, we've got the plus six cunning, plus six fire, plus six overpower, plus six rage, plus six reuse. Plus 3 adrenaline and plus 3 berserk crew. So, yeah, that was built. And now let's go into some content codes and test uh, this build out. For example, let's go to the. Let's go. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to Underworld Defile. Why not? Which is uh, level, level 14 Honeycrowns. And currently we are on level 8 on the Warpike. Here we're gonna encounter the Koshai, Rift Soccer, Shadow Touch Tresk, Firebend Chirog, Wazer and Karabek, and the Fenroar. So, yeah, pretty annoying uh, behemoth we got here, but it's gonna be good test, I think. Pretty interesting. And here you are on the Underworld Defiles Islands, and let's see what the lineup is gonna be like this time. Okay, we got the Fenroar, uh, the Rooster Crow, and the Koshai. Okay, okay, so basically, uh, you know the drill, we're gonna go to the closest behemoth, and then we're gonna go to other behemoth. So, yeah, also, I wanna say that uh, this build is not beginner friendly. Uh, with this build you wanna dodge a lot and you don't have to time your attacks really uh, real perfectly in order for you to do some damage and not to die because Fire Soul basically depletes your health really fast and you gonna die a lot quickly. Basically every shot is gonna one shot you. So that's that and be careful of Semina too. I completely forgot about mine so that's that. Okay, let's see. The dodge. Ah, fuck, I can do that. Okay. We need some kind of brakes to get our speed boost active. Touch this again. Very nice. And bro, I can touch it again, really? Okay. Okay, maybe, yep, there we go. Nice Sagar. And once it's on the ground, we're gonna go and do our damage really quickly and nicely. Oh, I can touch that, really? That hit me? Okay. I really thought that that, that, that was not gonna hit us, hit me, but guess not. Okay, the Kosha is really bad in the lineup for us because we can't really dodge in the thorns, so that's pretty bad for that need to be extra careful with this behemoth let's see what's doing oh it's doing this we can interrupt it come on there we go let's use our omnicell tempest and get to its tail maybe destroy that and there we go the kosha is down next up let's go to okay, let's do that next up let's go to the roof circle which is also level level 14 so Pretty good test. See, so yeah, as you saw right there, it's like this build is like really high reward, high risk uh, build. And once you wanna interrupt the PM, you just heal up a quick, heal up quickly, and do your thing, and you can you're not gonna die that easily. Okay, we need to get our Savage All Spring active. Also, this build is not like 
one thing will so that's that come on let's go for the Sagar there we go and another several draw spring come on the once you get the hang of it is like not like I would say easy but you're gonna do these runs really easily just inter interrupt that yep and there we go we didn't die hopefully <laughs> it was quite a uh, close one but we move it's all already on half health let's stagger maybe no I can stagger really okay and let's do that then wait it didn't hit okay <laughs> And we need to dodge. Ah, I couldn't dodge that really. I was far away, but I couldn't dodge that. Damn, okay. Okay, let's see. We don't have any revive seems left. And we need to kill this thing really easily now. Okay, it's gonna do a bit. Okay, let's see. Come on, Sagar it, Sagar it, come on. Hey, yeah, yeah, there we go. Thankfully, it didn't go underground, and because that would be really annoying to deal with. Uh, let's try to break another part there. Oops, can do that. Okay, we're gonna heal up a bit quickly, and where is it? Gonna once it comes out of the portals, we're gonna interrupt that. Oops, can do that. And now, really? Not again? Now, okay, there we go. Finally, and uh, okay, and there we go. Finally. The behemoth is down, the roof soccer is down, okay. Uh, okay, let's see. I don't really want I don't really wanna go to Koshai, but I also don't really wanna go to the fan roar because it's one of the most annoying behemoths in the game. It likes moves it like moves a lot, so Okay, we're gonna try nonetheless. Let's heal up a bit before we go. Okay, so basically for the fan roar it's again another Fragile behemoth, but that makes up the moment of this thing, and it's really hard to break the parts and get it to slow down. And another roof socket just spawned too. Really, bro? Just give me some other behemoths, maybe like chair would be oh, fuck. Chair, chair would be nice, and curl back too. Okay, damn. Completely forgot that <laughs> this behemoth is really likes to jump a lot. Okay, maybe Sagar? Maybe? There we go. Finally, finally. Let's try to do some damage now. There we go. Maybe head break. Yep. And another arm break. Maybe? Come on. It ran away. Okay, and. Once it does that, we can get too close and do some damage like that. But we need to dodge that. Oh, that was close. That was a really close one. Okay. Free damage here because it doesn't do anything. And let's see. Let's see. It's all the. And yeah, there we go. The Fenor is down to you. Okay. Let's see how much time we have left. Okay. We do have some time left. And I don't really want to go to either of those, either of those behemoths, though. So let's see if uh, any other behemoths spawn. Gonna just wait here a bit. Let's see, I hope hopefully it's gonna be uh, the Razor Wing, Karabek, or Charak. And there we go. My future telling was correct. <laughs> I couldn't really remember the word for that, but that's okay. Okay, the this guy is okay. Why did I do that? This guy is gonna be, I think, easy for us. Because Razoring Corbeck is another really uh, easy behemoth to kill. So let's see. Now we need to do our light attacks. Yeah, with this build, you want to make sure that you don't really run out of stamina a lot because this build revolves around the dodging. So if you don't really dodge, you're not gonna survive. Do that. Dodge this again. Let's use our tempest. Dodge that again. And as you can see, it's all on like last bits of health. So 
That's why I really like Corbex. You, they're like they're like really easy behemoth. But I don't know why they're on the Blazeworks. I mean, that quite is a behemoth, so that is a behemoth on the hardest undergrounds. I don't really how I don't I don't really know how that how that adds up, but I guess okay. We have some time left again, but let's see. Who do you wanna go for? Maybe let's do it a bit again and let's see what behemoth spawn. Okay, no, <laughs> we're not gonna go to the Drusk. Let's go to the Koshai. <laughs> Uh, Drusk is like really bad for this build because it's a really big behemoth and it does a lot of damage to you. Also, it's basically if it's big, it's gonna do a lot of AoE damage. Not the AoE, but its uh, area of attack is gonna be a lot. Let's go for the Sagar here, maybe. There we go. Let's use our Savage Wall Spring and let's do some damage here. Maybe get some parts broken or wounded or nothing. Though <laughs> we're just gonna die laying there. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try to do something here. Ah, fuck! I didn't see that really. And we're out of room. Our teams. Nice. But uh, I don't think that this gonna this fight is gonna long last long so it's okay towards that and again charge right back in it's gonna do that going to the eighth charge mode okay, to destroy the thorns before it destroys us Okay, let's use that again. Half health, there we go. Okay, we need to now do our attacks and dodge this. Ooh, that was a close one, bro. That was so close. Again, okay, charge back in. It's doing its thing while it's recovering. So basically, free damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and it killed us. Okay. It has so little health left, so. It's gonna go down in maybe I would say like 20 seconds before we get up. After we get up, not before. Okay, let's see. And we just let's heal a bit. Why not? Use our several draw spring and charge in, destroy the head. And there we go. The last Kosha is down. Yeah, that was the umbrella of Pike build without any catalyst. And also some cool parts too, so yeah. That was the build, and if you want, if you want any specific builds, you can comment down below, and I'll make them in the future. So yeah, this has been Giro, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.